Beginning today, more help coming for families struggling to put food on the table right now. WCPO 9 News reporter Jasmine Miner joins us live to explain how so many local organizations are teaming up to feed thousands of families. Good morning, Jasmine. Well, good morning, Julia. Yeah, this food bank is unique because it's working directly with the USDA or the United States Department of Agriculture, which means the food is coming straight from the farmers. And you got to remember, farmers have been having a tough time. But they've had to throw away a lot of what they've produced because of the poor economy and the pandemic. Well, now that food has been purchased, it's going in 22 pound boxes and it's feeding 1400 families for free. So take a look at this. This is video from the food bank they did just about two months ago in June, and this is what it's going to look like today here at Xavier University. Families will drive up. You'll get a card to fill out to say how many families you're picking up for. No ID or proof of income is needed. They wanted to take away as many barriers as possible, and then you get handed fresh Produce. Well, Catholic Charity, Southwestern Ohio, Free Star Food Bank, Xavier University, and Sukasa Hispanic Center of Cincinnati are all working together on this massive food bank. Staff says they know this is a drive through situation and there are people who might be homebound, retired, or seniors, or maybe they just don't have a car and can't be here. So they thought around that too. Not everybody has this ability to find transportation. So that's why we're like, no, families can pick up for other families to feed those in need, struggling at that time, to protect the vulnerable, to welcome the stranger. What a mission. Well, here's some helpful info for you. The food bank goes from one to four this afternoon right here at Xavier University. Cars can enter onto Dana and then go through St. Francis Xavier Way. And then there will be signs up and people directing if you are lost. Well, we asked them if uh, they're going to plan to do another USDA food distribution. They said they're hoping to do that again September or October. But of course, uh, no one knows what's going to happen with this pandemic. So we need to take advantage as much as we can right now. I'm reporting live, Jasmine Miner, WCPO 9 News.